What is going on, guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to multitask on your Samsung Galaxy S23 phone. This is an S23 Ultra, but what I'm going to show you works on all of the Galaxy S23s, and it really works on almost every Galaxy phone the same exact way. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, so the first thing you want to do is swipe down from the top, hit the gear, and then go down until you see the advanced features and tap on labs. Make sure you have all these things turned on here. Multi-window for all apps, full screen and uh, screen view, swipe for pop-up view and swipe for split view. So the first one, multi-view for all apps. Basically, this will allow you to multitask, meaning you can run two apps at the same time in some apps that don't allow for multi-window. Some of those apps are, I know one is Instagram, Generally, it will, if you have this turn off, you cannot run Instagram and another app at the same time. But with this on, you can. I'll show you. So I have it turned on. So what I'll do is I'm going to open up Instagram. I have Instagram open. Oh, let me go back here. I have Instagram open. I'm going to swipe up with two fingers, open up the Play Store. And now I can do two windows at the same time. I'm going to go back here just for a moment where I was. I'm going to turn it off now. I'm going to close that multi-window session, and I'm gonna open up Instagram again. And if I swipe up with two fingers, you can see you can't use this app in multi-view. So by turning that on, that allows you to run it in multi-view. Full screen and split screen view. I have it turned on. It hides the status and navigation bar so that you can see more of each app. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen or draw or down from the top to show the hidden bars. So you just saw that we had a multi window open. So I'll open up Instagram again, swipe up with two fingers and uh, open up, what is that? Let's open up settings, I guess. So we have settings open and that, and you can see it has the, the, I don't see anything at the top. I don't see anything at the bottom. If I turn it back on, now I do see the time, but it, truncates this stuff a little bit. So I think it's better with it off so you get you know seemingly less distractions on the screen. Going back to the labs page, you'll now see swipe for pop-up view. So you tap on that. You can see if you take it from the corner, you can swipe from the top corner toward the middle of the screen to change it to pop-up view. So what that means is we have, let's just open up the Play Store. If you swipe from here, it puts you into pop-up view, which is a little window that you can drag around and take it to where you want it. You can increase it back in size if you want, but ultimately you can open up multiple windows. I have the Play Store open right now. Maybe I also want to open up, uh, let's see which app do we want to open. I'll just open up Internet Explorer. I've got Internet Explorer open. You still get another app here. So it depends on what you want to do here, but you can do some cool stuff in here and have a pop-up window at the same time. You can have multiple pop-up windows as well. So if you want to take advantage of uh, multiple windows in here, that one closed, let me just do it again. So I got two windows open here at the same time. I don't know. It's a, it's a little bit confusing in terms of like what you can see. I don't, this is definitely not my favorite view, but you might absolutely love this and you can make these windows uh, smaller too so you can view more as well. Swipe for split screen. So this one is to change the split screen view. Swipe up with two fingers, which is kind of what I've been showing you, from the bottom of the screen in portrait view or from the side of the screen in landscape view and swipe again to switch apps. So let's swipe up. Let's open up the Play Store and we can swipe up with two fingers and we have all these apps right here. You can open up Instagram and again, well, this won't rotate, but generally uh, it does rotate. I'm sorry. So you can go that way as well. And if I wanted to, let's just make this window that size. If I go this way, now it obviously will open up in split screen again. So there you go. Easy, easy way to do split screen. Another thing I wanted to show you about multitasking is in the middle, you'll see these three dots. If you tap them, you can flip the windows really easily. You can also star them. If you star them, it creates a favorite and it puts it on this over here. You'll see a little taskbar over here and it creates it over here. Now I have a couple already created, but if I tap that, it'll automatically show up over there. If I swipe over again, I actually hit the home button. If I swipe over and then I have this other one created as well. So you can do some cool stuff and save them that way as well. So if you're into that, that might make sense to you. I'm gonna bring up, I'm gonna keep Google here. Another way, if you have this little bar here, this sidebar, 
is you can drag in a window. So you can see I have uh, YouTube open, but if I press and hold, I can bring a window. I can either do it in pop-up view or I can bring it down here or up here and it will open it up in split screen mode as well. Now, if you don't see that sidebar, you have to turn it on. So when you do that, hit the, the uh, settings, just bring this up, display, and you will see edge panels. Make sure you turn that on if it's not already. And if you do, you can, and if you, it might be dragged, you can drag it on the left or the right, this little bar, but ultimately you swipe over and you can see it like that. If you wanna see more apps in here, just hit this and this will show all your apps and you can still drag one over. So maybe you're like Amazon, press and hold it and drag it over and you can do it that way as well. Now I'm using the swipe gestures, but if you wanna multitask this way, swipe up and hold and you can tap on these little things here. So for instance, Let's tap, I don't know if this will multitask, but tap that, and it does actually. I can open in multi-screen view or open in pop-up view, just like I show you, or just keep open. But basically, we're gonna worry about these two. I'm gonna open it in split screen, and now I can open up another window and open up YouTube real quick. And there you go, you can watch a video if you wanted to or do something else in there. It's very, very handy to be able to come in here and multitask, you can turn it this way again if you want. And you can also do the pop-up view that way. Again, pop-up view is not my favorite. It might be yours, but if you swipe up and hold, I'll just get rid of that. We can tap on this and we can open it in pop-up view and it'll make it smaller a little bit and control it, open up another window, do the same thing. So if you don't like using the gestures, you can come in here and uh, press it from there. Now, if you're using the buttons down below, you can press your recent apps button and do the same thing I just kind of showed you a moment ago. Press the little button, open in split screen, and do that as well. Or you can, let's open up this window, swipe up with two fingers and multi-screen that way. So if you like using the buttons or you don't use the buttons, that's the other way to bring up your recent apps and go into multitasking view. So there you guys go. Let me know if that video was helpful for you. Have a great day, and we'll see you down the road.